Ponce with RockBrain.com. We are here with Danny Marino from The Agonist, and they just destroyed the stage over at the region. Um, the man himself right here. We uh, follow you for quite a few years now. You know, you have a few releases. The most latest one has been um, five, yeah. which is your fifth one, like that, in India. Um, before I get into the album, um, the tour started a couple days ago. Yesterday. So, yeah, yesterday. First show yesterday. The second show tonight. Yeah. Fucking awesome. How was uh, how's the reaction from the crowd that you get? Great. So I mean, it's only been two shows. But, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's great. We're, uh, you know, this is, this is like a, a heavier tour for us, and it's fun too because we get to really like you know show off our heavier side as well and we'll go with that flow kind of thing. We like playing in lots of different sub-genres of metal tours, you know, so that we can branch out and because our music tends to go like in many directions, so we can play off of that and like make a set list, you know, for different crowds and things like that, so that's fine. That's, that's real, yeah, because you know, you, you think of, you know, Headliner, Devil Driver, you know, yeah. you got Death Angel, you got The Agonist, which is, I mean, I like the stuff, it's a lot more melodic, I would say, you know? Yeah. Um, so what what artists that you would say, you know, that, that push you to say, you know what, I'm just going to do this, I'm going to be a metal rock star, you know, that will influence you to? I don't think it was any one artist or anything. It's like you have your idols growing up that are very different, I think, than when you're older. Like, like the first things I was listening to that were heavy in any way were like, Guns N' Roses and Metallica, you know, like on cassette tapes in my Walkman when I was 12 years old. But it's like now, it's like, I wouldn't really, it's like, you know, you hear that come on in a bar or something like that. Yeah, it's like, more like, cool, yeah, but it's not, you know, now I, I'm really into lots of progressive bands and things like that, like uh, Devin Townsend and Between the Buried and Me and, uh, you know, Old Death and all kinds of stuff like this. So. But I uh, can't say there was one artist that really drove me to say that I want to do this. It was more just once I started playing and jamming together with other musicians, it was like such a good experience and feeling that I just wanted to keep doing it more and more. It became this, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's a great thing because, you know, right now, I mean, it's been like that forever, but there's a lot of big division in the metal world. Right, like you know, there's there's the death core, there's your yeah. you know black metal, death metal, and whatnot, uh, and that's a great thing. They all like you pretty much build up of everything you listen to, and then you give us you know yeah the agonist. Um, so out of the new album, what was the track that you said that song has to be there? You know, it, it could be personal, like it was either like a personal thing for you, or you just like you loved it so much. What song was it? I mean, honestly, like the one that I felt the most personally connected to was, it was like the standout, like outlier of the album that doesn't sound like anything else in the album, which is the Raven Eyes, which is the acoustic song on the record. I was really proud of how that came out. Like me and Vicky wrote that song together, and the final piece that came is like I've never really done a piece like that before, so it made me realize new potentials of like writing and, and even if it was to be done in a heavy song it's not necessarily because it was valid or whatever it's like there was different melodies and emotions that I could incorporate into new agonist heavy material too kind of thing so probably that track it's a pretty good one that too so I, I personally relate with the ocean you know yeah um, because a lot of the words, lyrics that are in it, it kind of like, you know, I live in Southern California and yeah. I go towards the ocean to get away from things. Yeah, yeah. Listen to the ocean, sit there and relax, meditate or whatnot. That's a good yeah, song. Yeah, that one's different too. Yeah, very, yeah, there are, I mean, there's a big diversity in, in, in the entire album and I like it. It's it's not just one, you know, one um, topic and it's yeah. different sounds as well. Uh, so as far as of uh, touring, are you thinking or wanting to do any big festivals, you know, right yeah, now. I think every band yeah. wants to do big festivals. It's just a matter of timing yeah. and the festivals yeah. themselves. Yeah. You know, what, what makes sense and all this. So, I mean, we're going to do whatever. Uh, writing process, uh, recording, uh, how what was it like? Are you forever thinking of that once? Uh, yeah, uh, I usually write most of the material. Um, but then, uh, 
vocally, you know, I, I rarely write something in terms of like melodies or vocals or anything like that. But I share the, the lyrics half half usually with Vicky or something like that. She writes all like the melodies and the patterns and the vocals. It's one of the reasons we took her in the band. She has a really good ear and, and ideas for music as well. So, but uh, I, I usually write most of the material. Paco, the other guitarist, wrote uh, two songs on the record that we played tonight actually because they're like really driving heavy live type songs. So yeah. um, that was kind of the process. And we, I would bring my you know demos together and then she would we'd work with lyrics together and that would become the song. Kind of thing. I mean there's a, there's a lot of other bands from uh, Canada that I enjoy listening to, you know. Uh, Church of the Gods, uh, Young Creation and you know of course now later. Um, uh, were any of those bands like on your top set list at any, at any point in your life, uh, or any just other bands that you made from Canada? Yeah, well, like I said before, Devin Townsend was a huge influence, Strap if you wanted that yeah, this whole thing. Uh, but uh, when I do feel like listening to extreme death metal, I mean, I'm really good friends with the guys in Cryptopsy, mm -hmm. and it's like it's not every day that I would listen to this, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's like if I feel like I want that, like that's one of the go tos for, for extreme death metal kind of thing. Um, back when Despised Icon first came out, you know, it was kind of like, you know, just like punch in the face, you know, yeah. so heavy brutality, I think, you know. There's a lot of that in Quebec. Quebec is full of extremes. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. I mean, I, you know, it's, it's hard to actually, you know, some of those bands that are coming from Canada, I don't know what it is, whether it's the market or the publishers or not, but it's, you know, you hardly hear them. It's up until recently that you started hearing more and more, you know, from Canadian bands, and honestly, you guys are doing an amazing job, you know, just writing the crazy music, which is what keeps us sane. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, any bands that you would say from, Cal from, uh, from the U.S. that are that you're a huge fan of? I mean, it's, I, I listen to all kinds of music, so it's like, um, I can't even think off the top of my head right now, like, you know, which, because it's like, if you're, if you're riding in, in like, a van with us or whatever, it's like, you can go from total pop, like, you know, pop rock, like Foo Fighters, to, like I said, extreme, like, Topsy or whatever, right? it's everything in between, there's hip hop to, like, uh, you know, stuff like this, but, like, more interesting, you know, not just like the kind of like money dollar bills, bitches and hoes kind of hip hop, but like yeah, that's stuff with lyrical <laughs> content and like old school stuff like Tribe Called yeah, Quest and, nice. and this, but then yeah, it's, it's a big, big gamut of yeah, nice, that's cool. types of music. Yeah, that's awesome. Once again, thank you for the interview. Uh, just, do you mind? Mark, happy birthday dude. Super happy to celebrate it with you here in LA. All right, that's it. We're out, guys. Once again, this is uh, Jose with Rockbury, and we have Danny from The Agonist. Keep it metal.